Okay, what we're looking at is the custom steel motor mount that I fabricated and then took to have a couple pieces of it welded. It bolts to the front, or rather the tail end, of the electric advanced DC motor. The blue tape on there is just to keep anything from falling in the motor while I'm working, which would be bad. And then you've got a little arm on this side, which shows you that it bolts to the... Um, support for this passenger drive shaft and it's welded on this end and bolted into the same holes with the adapter plate. Um, I just need to prime it, paint it, make sure it doesn't rust otherwise it works pretty good. So now that we have that done I've hooked up the motor back to my trusty jumper cables and now I've got the car jacked up and we're gonna give it a little juice with it in gear and we can watch the wheels spin so while we're not really taking it anywhere, you can you can pretty much see exactly what this car is going to do once it's uh, once it's finished. All right, the car is already in gear, and we're going to give it a little juice. We're just going to watch the wheels spin. Now that I've got that motor mount secured and this uh, passenger side drive axle secured to that motor mount, I'm not worried about anything slipping or falling out of place. So we'll give it a little juice, just watch the wheel spin, we'll stop it, put it in reverse, and just sort of check everything out. Oh yeah. Now it's a little noisy at the moment, just because I still don't have any fluid back in the transmission, and uh, the brakes are sticking a little bit because it's been up on jacks for about four weeks now. So it'll be fine once everything's done. The beautiful part is this drive axle is not moving back or forth or up or down, it's, it's staying exactly where it needs to be. Take this off, stick the car in reverse, and then we can watch it spin backwards. Just to make sure all the gears work. We're really only going to use second in reverse and occasionally third if you want to get on the highway. But that's one of the beautiful parts about an electric vehicle is you don't have to shift through all of the gears. You, most people just driving around town just leave it in second gear. So here's reverse. Now that's a little noisier, but then reverse is always noisier, and keep in mind we won't be going that fast in reverse, we're not, uh, we're not going on a race anywhere. So it's all looking very good, I've cut out the trunk, the whole floor of the trunk has been taken out, I'm going to sink some batteries back there. Um, you can see a little bit of this, I've done a little custom lettering, it's going to say 120 volt on the back and then EV on each side. And then we'll do a little graphics down the side when I'm finished, but that's down the road. So right now what I need to work on is a lot of little component issues. I'm working on the heater, the power steering, and I also need to get the custom battery racks made. I've uh, pretty much figured out I can get eight batteries in front, so I'm going to end up with eight in front, seven back, 15 8-volt batteries, 120 volts. Thanks.